How's everybody doing? We're going to unmute the game audio. Uh, and we're also going to get rid of this stupid Streamlabs pop-up. <sighs> My God, there's so many things on screen. Hey! How's everybody doing tonight? <clears throat> Hello, Nikki. How are you? Hello, Matt. How are you doing? Hailing from across the ocean. Whatever number you're on. <laughs> I believe third. Uh, welcome, everybody. We're going to play a classic tonight. Um, you know, it was one of those nights where I was like, um, you know, I wanted to, wanted to do something fun for, uh, the story night stream and, uh, we had a discussion and during last night's stream and it was like somebody suggested, uh, portal. Uh, I, I think it might've been you, Dana. I think you might've suggested portal. And I was like, you know what? Portal sounds fantastic. I love portal. Uh, it's been a long time. Yeah, I wanted some fun, and I picked Portal. Portal's a blast. I love Portal. It's been a long time since I played it, at least, like, six or seven years. Um, and so I was like, you know what? We'll just do a playthrough of Portal. Um, we'll just start a new game, and we'll just get going. Portal's an absolute wonderful game. Oh, yeah. It's good to hear you again, old friend. Yeah, this is a huge success. Might even be a triumph. You've never watched or played Portal, Nikki? Oh my god, you're in for such a treat. This game is wonderful. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Computer Ah, uh, hello, GLaDOS. Center. We hope your brief detention hey, and Demonus, how you doing? has been a pleasant one. Your specimen has been processed, and we are now ready to begin the test proper. Before we start, however, keep yeah. in mind that all the yeah. fun and learning are the primary goals of our enrichment center activities. Serious injuries may occur. For your own safety and the safety of others, please refrain from. Turn back. Yep. The portal will open in three, <laughs> two, one. Ah, oh, there's our portal. Look, it's us. Ah, oh, man, this is bringing back memories. All right, here we go. So you know. Nikki, you've never seen anything from Portal? My god, I'm amazed that you've never seen anything from Portal. This is like... Man. It's like saying you've never seen Zelda. Alright, alright. We gotta pick up the, the old companion cube here. And drop Excellent. them right on there. Please proceed into the chamber lock after completing each test. Yes. Um, however, note the incandescent particle field mm -hmm, across mm -hmm. the exit. Mm -hmm. This yes. aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through uh -huh. it. Vaporization, instance, got it. The aperture science weighted storage cube. That is not a fair compare. I don't know. Look, portal is like up there. Portal is way up there. <laughs> Please place the weighted storage cube on the 1500 megawatt aperture science mm, 1500 megawatts, eh? Super Great. Okay, so now here's the crux of the game. Uh, for Nikki, if you don't know, we have portals. And we have to solve the puzzles. And so our, our orange portal and our blue portal are connected. And so right now, uh, the blue portal is changing. And we can go through and pick up what we need to pick up. And take it where we need to take it. Oh, man. I think I originally played Portal back in, like... Hmm. Man, it was definitely, like, in college. Um, I played it originally... Ah, oh, damn it. Um, when Valve put out... <laughs> the, pr the price of Portal has gone down while the price of... Uh, oh, wait, we gotta wait. Uh, while the price of Nintendo games have only gone up... that Ain't that the truth? Good lord. We gotta wait. 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 Great. We go this way. Now, that's right. We wait. And then we go through here. Um, can I turn on subtitles? Yes, I can. You know what? I absolutely can. For those of you that uh, have a little bit of trouble hearing GLaDOS speak, 
Subtitles, subtitles, captioning, subtitles on dialogue only. Hopefully it appears large enough. We shall see. I mean, I have to make I might have to make some adjustments. We'll see. But I originally played it back when uh, Orange Box came out. Um, if anybody remembers the Orange Box, which was this awesome collection of Valve games that were ported to Xbox 360. Um, and I played it then. And then I played it again later on PC. And uh, yeah, I played it a few times. You're doing very well. Yeah. Please be advised that a noticeable taste of blood is not part of any test protocol, but is an unintended side effect. I love all the artwork. The aperture signs material emancipation grip, which may, oh, in severe cases, emancipation of villains, crowns, tooth enamel, and teeth. Mm-hmm. 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 Yes, thank you, GLaDOS. Oh! And then now we get the portal gun! Now we can control Very portals good. ourselves. You are now in possession of the Aperture Science handheld portal device. Yeah. With it, you can create your own portals. These interdimensional yeah. gates have proven to be completely safe. The device, however, has not. Do not touch the <laughs> operational end of the device. Do not look directly at the operational end of the device. Oh my Do god. Not submerge the device in liquid, even partially. Most importantly, yeah, they're not great subtitles. <laughs> Unfortunately, they're not the best. Oh, I love GLaDOS. GLaDOS is so good. Like, that's got to be one of the best uh, game characters ever made, to be honest. Please proceed to the chamber. Yeah, get out of here. Mind the gap. I'll mind your gap. Get down there. Whee! Aw, oh, man. It's good to be back in this world. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. For your own safety, <laughs> do not destroy vital tests. Well, oh, I'll destroy what I want. The Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Oh, no. I don't think we want our daughter tested by Aperture Laboratories. That's a bad time. Here, let me see if there's like some better subtitle options. Is there like, I mean, this is an old game, so. Uh, um, it does not seem to be the case, unfortunately. Welcome to test chamber four. Test chamber Where number four. I love all the little artworks that like kind of give you an idea of what's going on in each test chamber. It's so good. And then just the cake. The little cake with the little cherry butt. So now we gotta figure out how do we get the door open? Ah, oh, but we gotta get the cube all the way out from there. Yeah, red is not a good choice. Um, that was not the best choice for uh, the subtitles. It should have been... Well, and this is actually a thing. I, I deal with this a lot because subtitles are part of what we call ADA compliance. Um, and again, back work. at the time... As part of a required test protocol, we will not monitor the next test chamber. You I will love be that entirely they, uh, on your own. Good luck. I love that the little security cameras follow you. Um, but they, uh, like, back back when this game came out, there was actually no standardization for subtitles. It was just kind of like, do what you want. Um, and now, subtitles actually have, like, specific standards that they have to follow. What did you guys expect from Valve? This game was also made by, like, ten people. <laughs> that were, it was like, it wasn't even, uh, the story of Portal is, like, a really cool story. It wasn't a game that was actually ever even originally intended to be released. It was like a little side project that some guys at Valve like made on their own time and were just like screwing around with. And then Gabe Newell saw it one day and was like, holy shit, that's amazing. And they're like, ah, oh, yeah, we're just like, you know, doing stuff. So now we got to hit two buttons at the same time. So let's go get us a cube. Thank you. And then we'll just put a portal here. Great. And we'll drop you down there. And we'll shoot a portal over there. Turn around and grab it. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. There we go. 
And now I can walk right through. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this chamber was an outright fabrication. Yep, yep. Good job. As part of a required test protocol, we oh, will stop that. enhancing the truth in three, <laughs> two... You hate the worship that some people have for Gabe Newell. Holy shit, that can make me money. I mean, yeah, he's a businessman. I mean, you know, I think I think a lot of the the idea of the Gabe Newell worship just kind of comes from the fact that like you know he was like a fanboy turned gamer. I don't think he's like you know the greatest game designer of all time or anything. But that is a uh, permanent disability. That is definitely a permanent disability, for sure. So now we have to figure out, okay, how do we get said ball into here? And the best way to do that is to just make a portal. All right. You. Subject name here. Must be the pride of. Subject <laughs> Why is people so proud of how much money they spend on Steam sales and never even play? I don't know. I mean, I feel like that was more of a thing like five, six years ago. Maybe even more. I don't know. And yeah, portals are a very simple concept. There, there was a there was a shooter recently. I don't remember what it was called, but there was a shooter that came out that was like, it literally was just like Halo with portal guns. Oh, it's still alive and well. I mean, I used to buy a lot of games on uh, during the Steam sales. I I, I usually like check them out, and I'll buy like two or three games, but. Oh no! Ah, the, yeah. The warning devices are clearly um, we can't have those, and then it's gonna come up. Bam! Good. Now use the aperture science on the stationary scaffold to reach the chamber lock. So good, man. So now we gotta wait. Because we're going to come flying out of that hole. Oh, look, we can see ourselves. Hi. Hi. we got to wait, got to wait, got to wait. And made it. We've made it to the unstationary scaffold. So many unplayed games, I haven't even looked at the sales in years. Too dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I usually am just like, oh, I'll spend like, you know, 20 bucks and buy some indie games that are like $2 that I want to play. I mean, I, that's how, honestly, I've gotten a, a lot of the stuff that I played on stream so far, uh, I got during Steam sales. <laughs> Which, those of you curious, I have updated all of my um, stream uh, scheduling. So if you would like to see what upcoming games Please we're going to be playing and when those streams are going to happen, you can check out my schedule on Twitch and you'll see it all. Mm, yes. On your official testing record. Followed by death. Good luck. <laughs> Followed by death. Uh, yes, we don't want an unsatisfactory mark on our record. That would be very poor. So what we want to do here is we need to put a portal there. Then, while it's floating, we want to put a portal there. Oh, nope. Right there. There we go. We want to move that portal. There we go. It does bounce off the walls. I didn't remember that it bounced off the walls. So now we've got that moving. So we want to put a portal here. And then we want to put a portal there. And turn around and wait. Simple as that. You only bought a bit randomly. One sale who wants to be a millionaire. Pretty garbage. A Zen game where you rotate a string around an object. Also, man, and Max Payne 3. Yeah, I mean, well, there's your problem. You're not buying good games. <laughs> You gotta buy, like, actually good games. Max Payne 3. I played that when it came out. Uh, yeah, it was meh. It was like, eh. Very impressive. Please note that any appearance of danger is merely a device to enhance your testing experience. Yes, yes, yes. It's just gonna... In, it's enhancing our experience. There's nothing wrong at all going on in Aperture Laboratories. Also, I love that it's just, like, a padded elevator. Why is your elevator padded with, like, mattresses? The Enrichment Center regrets to inform you that this next test is impossible. Oh, it's impossible, eh? Make no attempt to solve it. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Clearly, we can't get past this. 
So, you know, we can't at all do this. Drop you there. Shoot a, oh, no, wait, wait, wait. shoot at the portal through there. Ah, ah, ah. And then we jump down here. Fantastic. You remain resolute and resourceful <laughs> in an atmosphere of extreme pessimism. Extreme pessimism. That's my atmosphere all the time. You're not buying good games because, honestly, so many fucking trash games. I mean, yeah, there's a lot of trash games out there. But to last longer than 100 hours, for most people, you seem to think that 100 hours of uh, one game is like an insane amount. I mean, it depends. Sometimes I want 100 hours in a game, and sometimes I don't. Um... You know, sometimes I just want, like, a good 10-hour experience with, like, a nice story, and then I'm done, and I'm okay with that. Like, I'm a big fan of the Resident Evil games. That's how I feel about those. Like, they're a fun experience. Momentum. Oh, no. Uh, we need some momentum. So we just gotta jump across. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's kind of how I feel about, like, certain story. Oh, you mean non-story games? Ah! Yeah, I mean, you know, it de it kind of depends. Um, okay, yeah, our portal's up there. Um, there's certain games that I've definitely gotten, like, that are non-story games that I've gotten, like, over 100 hours. Have I played RimWorld? Yes. Uh, no, I have not played RimWorld, and that is kind of by design, because I know I would like RimWorld. And I would probably spend way too much time on RimWorld. Uh, could you please accept my portal? Thank you. Um, I would probably spend too much time playing RimWorld, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> a function of mass and velocity is conserved between portals. In layman's terms, speedy thing goes in, speedy thing comes out. Yes, speedy goes in, speedy goes out. Um, I know I would enjoy RimWorld. And then it pisses you off. I mean... I don't know. I, I, I know because I like that type of game. Um, I really like, you know, survival games and, like, building games. Like, I've put an ungodly amount of time into City Skylines. Like, good lord. I've probably put three or four hundred hours into City Skylines. You know, I've played a lot of, like, Roller Coaster Tycoon and a lot of that sort of thing. Um, I really like survival type games. I've played a lot of, like, Don't Starve and I've played a lot of, you know, that's, uh, like, Subnautica and that sort of thing. The enrichment center promises to always and it's just mixing those together. A testing environment. In dangerous testing environments, the enrichment center promises to always provide useful advice. Ah, yes, For useful instance, advice. The floor here will kill you. Try to <laughs> avoid it. <laughs> just don't, just don't stand where it'll kill you. It's fine. Uh, we just make a portal and we walk out and we press the button. Beep. And then we got to get the next portal gun. So okay. So in this one, we have a shooty thing that is doing the shooty. We need to get it in there. We have uh, this portal gun, which is rotating around and shooting portals. And we need that to come out there. So whoop. So we need to wait. And we need... Put a blue portal there. Is it right? Is that right? No, we can't put a portal there. It's been a long time since I played some of these. Okay. So this is just going to take us back up. That's right. Okay. So we got to wait for you to change the location. That's right. Okay. You need to be on that side. There we go. There's us. Look at us. Okay, okay, okay. And roguelikes. Yeah, roguelikes are great. I, I love roguelikes. So now we need to open that door, put a portal up there. Ah, damn it. And then now we got to get in that room, then put a portal where the ball is going to go through. The older you get, the more you appreciate a, a shorter, well-executed experience. Yeah, I kind of feel that way. Um, Witcher 3 definitely had some fatigue after a while. Um, I mean, I put, you know, oh god, don't want to get hit by it. Uh, I put a lot of hours into Elden Ring, so... Did it do it? It did the thing. Okay, good. Um, you know, I can't really say much, considering I put 
you know, already like 130, 140 hours into Elden Ring, so, um, no, 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 we don't want this one, we want the next one. Um, you know, there's that. <laughs> But I don't always require, um, you know, 100 hours per game. I've done, like, 300 hours of Slay the Spire. I mean, obviously, like, Hunt Showdown, I've got over 2,000 hours in. So, you know, there are definitely some games where I do that, but... Oh, an amusing fact... The device is now more valuable than the organs and combined incomes of everyone in. Subject phone call here. Hmm. Okay, I don't remember what this one does. Where's our way out? Oh, it's uh, up there. Got it, got it, got it, got it. And then we want to get through. We already got the portal, so now we just gotta wait on our little transporter guy. 100 isn't a lot for games that more or less require restarts. Um, yeah, I mean, it depends on the roguelike. Like, uh, Cult of the Lamb took us what? Like, 20 something hours to beat? It obviously has a lot of replay value. Um, you know, there's plenty of, we could, you know, play multiple runs of Cult of the Lamb. Um, Hades has a ton of content if you want to, like, 100% that game. And that's the thing, is it's like, too, you know, are you somebody who wants to 100% games, or are you somebody who's fine, you know, just kind of getting your, uh, you know, wanted experience out of it and then being done with it? Because a lot of times there's games where I'm like, ah, I want, 100, I, I want to 100% this, and there's ones where I'm just like, eh, I'm, I'm good not doing it. Chamber number 12. You have 4,600 hours in Europe or Universalis? Well, I mean, that's kind of like what that game is designed to be, right? It's just like endless, endless entertainment. I'm also somebody who likes to, you know, kind of change up my experience every once in a while. I get a little, uh, you know, ADHD kind of going on. Okay, what we need to do here is we need to get up there. So let's put a portal there, and let's put a portal here. And then we're up here. And then we need to get up there. So now we just do a little of uh, this. And we're up here. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, we need to go up there. Yes, thank you. And we want to fall down. Hut. Woo! Nice. Okay. Now, we've got our companion cube. Hut. We want to put that there. And then we... Flying through. We. <laughs> I mean, forty six hundred hours in Europa. That that is a lot of time. I just don't have that kind of time to spend on games anymore. I wish I did. I was when I was like, I mean, when I was like a teenager and like in college, man, I played a lot of games. I've just got you know like a a lot to do. I got a lot going on. Control of both portals. This next test could take mm. a very, very, a very long time, long time if you huh? Lightheaded from thirst. Feel free to pass out. <laughs> An intubation associate will be dispatched to revive you with peptic salve and adrenaline. Ooh. Averages to about ten hours a week. I mean, that's reasonable. I mean, if that's like the game that you mostly play, and you've been playing it for years, then yeah. I mean, that's kind of how I am about uh, Hunt Showdown. I've played a lot of Hunt Showdown. And I've been playing that game since it launched on console. And I would say I probably average around eight to 10 hours of it a week, but then I'll, I'll, there'll be periods where like I don't play for a while. Uh, yeah, you're going there. So you need a portal there and you need a portal there. And then you're gonna come in and you're gonna hit the thing. Great, beautiful. And now we have our platform is moving. Which means we need to put a 
portal there. And we need a portal here. And we're gonna wait and drop in. How's everybody's night going? How's your week going? Oh, what? We drop right on it. Beautiful, beautiful. Now don't fall down. Okay. Now. I'm gonna bring this down here. I'm gonna put a portal up there. Put a portal over here. We're just gonna gently drop you on the button. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we need to go. And we need to go onto this button ourselves. Excellent. But we need another companion cube. Where are we gonna get one? Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. I'll destroy. Oh, damn it. Where did I drop it? There we go. I'll destroy testing apparatus if I want to destroy testing apparatus. GLaDOS. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, god damn it. Election on Sunday, utility price chaos. Oh, man. What, are, what, is, uh, what, are, what do elections in Sweden look like? What, what's going on? Oh, man. Come on. Get in there. Get in there. Get on there. Oh, does it not hold it down? I thought it hold it. I thought I would hold it down. I could have sworn it holds it down. Now I gotta remember what to do. Uh. 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 Hmm. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Hmm. GLaDOS does require a better solution. Left government in power, polls are basically tied for the two blocks. So by left government, do you mean like liberal government? Government? Or do you mean like... Like I don't know what the, you know, the political, oh duh. Bam. As part of a previously mentioned required test protocol, we can no longer, can no longer lie, to lie to you. you. Uh -huh, when the testing right. is over, you will be missed. Oh, they're gonna miss us. She's gonna miss us when the testing is over. That's not at all ominous, right? Chamber 14. Oh, yeah. Mm. All subjects intending to handle high-energy gamma leaking portal technology must be informed that they may be informed of applicable regulatory compliance issues. Mm. Yes. No further compliance information is required or will be provided, and you are an excellent test subject. Look at that. We're an excellent test subject, guys. Wow. We're going to put one there. We're going to put one there. Oop, we went the wrong way. Let's try that again. Social Democrats. Oh, God. Okay, we need to reposition this portal. Let's put it up here. That should work. Here we go. Whee! There we go. All right, now we've got our companion cube that we can take on over here. What are you asking specifically? I mean, I don't know what the political climate over there is. I mean, you know, here in the United States, we have uh, the, De the Democratic Party and the, Re the Republican Party, and they're very different from one another. Um, and I mean, even within those parties, right, you have a lot of variance. See, this is, this is uh, what I love about uh, Portal, by the way, is it's like, oh, look at this insane platforming challenge. Bye. <laughs> Woo. And then now you're like, wait a minute. How are we gonna do what we need to do here? We're just gonna go whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, now... 
need to do a little of that. Great. Okay. Okay. So now that's going to be bouncing back and forth. So we need to move... Oh, God. We need to move our blue portal. Right? Yes, we need to move our blue portal. You think we are going to investigate putting abortion rights in the Constitution? Well, that would be nice. Yeah, liberals are what... <laughs> our liberals are what most other countries would consider to be conservative. That is, that is true. That is truth. So we need to move our blue portal to here. Okay. Bam. Very good. A complimentary victory lift has been activated. A complimentary victory lift. Hut, hut. You move faster when you like bunny hop, if I remember. Because I seem to remember all the speedrunners back in the day were always like, I think it's backwards bunny hopping. <laughs> you don't even want to talk about the stunt jumps. Oh man. Hey, 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 hey. 